Hey, I'm Lady Red. Welcome to my channel, Lady Red's Tech Reviews, and I've got a short tutorial for you today. A uh, few people have asked me exactly how do I optimize my devices to get a little bit more out of the battery and performance. So that's what I'm going to show you now. I know I've done some quick tips on battery videos, but never anything quite this in depth. So take a look. Leave a like on the video. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel. Get all the notifications for the newest videos. Okay, so this is an X-Pure. This is Jesse's X-Pure. Trying to get this. I'm trying to keep the glare off of it. And y'all already know if you've ever watched any of my live videos, the battery on the X-Pure is not the best battery. Uh, but it can be made to go a little further. It's 3000 milliamp and it's got a monster um, processor in it and that does drain it. So that's what we're going to do now is I'm going to optimize this one app at a time. There we go. So, I'm going to open your settings. And this is running Nougat. So this works. Um, Nougat or Oreo, you're going to do basically the same thing. We're going to start with the apps. All right. She uses those, so we're not going to mess with those. And what you're going to want to do is look for the apps you don't use. And you're going to disable them. Like Google Indic Keyboard. No, she's not going to use that. Because we are not in India or Japan. I'm going to disable that. And you wouldn't believe how much difference the little things make, but when you're doing a lot of little things, it makes a big, big difference. Okay, so, where were we? Alright, we are disabling things we don't use. You don't. Jesse, do you use Google Play Music in movies? No. Didn't think so. Mm -hmm. So you're going to disable that too, because it might be running in the background, and that will cause battery drain. And if you're also concerned about data usage, that may also help you decrease that data usage. Let's see. Now this one is running in stock Android. Do you use your by at and I know you have them for internet. No. You do not. Okay, so we can uninstall that. We'll be using it much longer. I'll be using the NetBuddy. That's right. Did you hear that? Jessie's using NetBuddy, y'all. It's awesome. She loves it. Let's see. All right. I think the rest of the Google Translate. Are you using Translate? I do. Not on that one. Not on this one? Okay. Translate boss man and his brother on my other phone while I'm at work. <laughs> I translate my customers. All right, everything else stays. So now what we're going to do, you're going to go back through your apps. And you're going to want to disable background data. Because if you're not, there's a lot of apps, if you're not using them, they don't need to be running. So you want to disable that data usage. And some of them you want to leave alone. Others you are going to want to disable. Now, I don't advise disabling any of your social media if you want to receive those alerts. Jesse, I know, does not. Because their alerts were already turned off. Do you get Gmail alerts? I don't want them. Okay. So we're going to turn that off too. Do you even use Hangouts? No. I didn't think so. So we're going to go ahead and disable Hangouts there. And that doesn't need to be running when we're not in it. Let's see what else we've got here. Okay, 
Now you want to do that with all of the apps that you're not, you know, that don't need to be running in the background. And that's entirely up to you how you want to do that. All right, next. We're going to open up developer options. And we're going to go down here. Do you want your automatic system updates enabled? Uh, sure. Okay. We're going to leave that alone. And we're not going to turn on always active cellular data because this one isn't activated. It's a Wi-Fi phone. What we are going to do is that. Turn off your animations. This will help with speed and performance. It will just make it seem a little faster. And that's all we really need to do right there. And that's the biggest issues is with that right there. Because even though, you know, we disabled background data, even though this isn't on the data, it will try to run. And that in itself will drain the battery. Oh dear. All right, y'all, there might be a little background noise. My good friend Dana is in the store getting a new phone because she, look at this, y'all. I'm going to show your iPhone off. Look at this, y'all. She destroyed her iPhone 6. Look at that. She ain't had it no time. So the last thing you want to do, turn your screen bright down as low as you can stand it, and that will help save your battery. Sorry about the distractions. I'm going to wrap this up real quick. So that's how you optimize your phone, individual apps, and that will help your battery and your data usage. Drop a comment if you have any questions. Leave a like on the video. i got to get out of here because, as you can see, I am at my day job. Subscribe to my channel. Get all the notifications. And absolutely check out my blog. Thanks for watching.